Good morning, folks. I've placed us in Earth's midnight position, opposite the Sun, revealing comet Panstars below the ecliptic. Southern Hemisphere has had a terrific view of her, but in just under two weeks, as she reaches perihelion, her orbital fulcrum, she will begin to become visible in the Northern Hemisphere just after sunset. Although, you might have better luck if you wait a few more days for the Moon to leave the picture, taking 24-hour jumps to show how rapidly it's going to trek the sky. Many of you have heard, recent news about the global warming trend, while still real, is not living up to the rate of increase we expected, and the University of Colorado claims to know why. Call me naive, but I hope to truly see us abandon nuclear power soon. The major quake watch took the day off. Minor rumblings are more than welcome after we took four significant quakes in a 48-hour period. Moving to the North Sea. And no, I'm not repeating myself with these hydrocarbon releases, they just keep screwing up. A horrifying scene in the Philippines as erosion prevention workers were buried under a mountain of dirt. The rain in parts of northern Australia is going ham. Flood markers keep hitting the Aussie coastline from the southeast Queensland area around close to Port Hedland. They're feeling this. Europe massive blew low in the Atlantic. It's actually spanning the entire ocean from the U.S. east coast over to Spain and Portugal. Counterclockwise movement has warmer air headed to Europe. Green, be gone. Make way for the warming yellow. Extreme weather in Argentina. It's that time of year again. These lows tear across that thinner part of the continent south of Brazil, which has its fair share of rainfall as well. Let's check the global thunderstorm watch zones. Coming back to the U.S. East Coast, the backside of this counterclockwise low pulling freezing air south, while the North Pacific low has broken position and is yanking warm air north on its leading edge as it comes across the states. By now I imagine many of you can picture what the wind map is going to look like just from the pressure maps, and that's what we aim for, leaving the temperature delta readily explainable based on that wind. They expect this system to produce severe weather in the southern states and then become winter storm Saturn. Just look at the weather channel showing the pressure spin. That convergence on the east edge where north and south are slammed together will funnel tons of precipitation through the middle and onto the coastline by the middle of the week. Cosmic ray density, slightly elevated but well within safe limits. The coronal hole stream impact is over. You can see the three day event beginning with the leading density spike in the second panel. On a week long scale it looks like this, putting into perspective that speed ramp up. Just above the equator, on the limb, you should see a popping filament. It was the only major eruptive event on the Earth-facing disk the last 24 hours. At the end, you can see most of this filament actually remained and slid back into the sun. And as Soho Lasco C2 shows, the blast is headed left and will miss Earth. Looking at the sunspots, got some development at this point, but let's just review the formed regions. This is the biggest and most complex, but she is going to be gone soon, turning away. This group is very extended, even got some still cresting on the limb, but we've seen a lot of decay already. North spots need some time to turn in so we can get a better look. Earth footprint on the sun, just right of north center with most of the magnetic connections there as well. That jittery bit of the umbral field again hopped off the dance floor yesterday, tilting the umbral field to regain balance and widening the opening at the green. We already believed this coronal hole to be open to Earth and the field lines appear to be opening us further. As you will remember, the planetary conjunctions begin again tomorrow with Mercury and the Sun. You can see him coming in at the top of the Lasco C3 frame. The Quake Watch was a success already, but the factors do remain. Let's just hope our planet doesn't feel the need to prove herself further. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.